Check out this crazy problem. A new paving machine can pay a highway 30 minutes quicker than the old model. So the first thing I notice is we can write a formula for that. Tn is equal to To minus 30. If the highway can be paved in 8 minutes when both paving machines are used at the same time, how long would the new one take to pave the highway on its own? This is a rate problem. We want the rate formula. This is the easier way to write the rate formula. This is what the rate formula looks like when you use stuff for the old. Uh, where you put a little O whenever you're dealing with stuff for the old, like a rate for the old or a time for the old. So you put R-O or T-O. What about for the new? Well, this is what it looks like when you use new stuff. But I didn't use T-N. I just went ahead straight ahead and substituted T-O minus 30. Okay. Got a little work I didn't need there. Let me just erase that. And let's keep going. Now, next thing you can do is set up what happens when they're both working together. That's why actually there was a RB there. But you don't need to put RB of them both working together. You just need to put rate of the old plus rate of the new um, when they're working together. That's the rate that they're working at when they're both working together. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you, think about a simple example like if rate of the old one was one block per minute and the new one was two blocks per minute. Well, if you put them together um, on that highway, then they'll be able to do three blocks in one minute. So it should make a little bit of sense that you can just add the rates. So that's what you plug in for the R in this case. Um, we'll just keep the A the same. We don't know how much work there is in any of these ones, actually. So I've kept A this entire time. But then they told me that when they're working together, it can be done in eight minutes. So I plugged in eight right here for T. So again, I just plugged into R is equal to A over T, where R in this case was RO plus R nu, and A was just A, that's the amount of work, we don't know how much it is, it's actually not going to matter, um, and T was 8. Alright, but then you can just plug in the formula for RO and the formula for RN, and the nice thing that's going to happen there is you're going to be able to get rid of the A's by just dividing everything by A. Or if you want to think about it as you multiplied everything by 1 over A. So I multiply everything by 1 over A and all those A's would cancel. Alright? So now you're just going to be left with 1 over T plus 1 over T minus 30. I'm using T now instead of TO since we don't have any other T's. But we'll just have to remember which T this is. It's just going to be a little easier to write since we're going to be writing T a lot. The next thing I did in brown here is I multiplied everything by the LCD. Well, how did I find the LCD? 8, T, T minus 30. All right. Um, most of the rest of the steps should be pretty straightforward. So I just want to point out what you're going to get at the end. Either T is equal 40 or T is equal 6. You'll notice, though, I crossed out 6, though, because you can't plug in 6 into the old time, subtract 30, and say that the new time is equal to negative 24 minutes. That's how long it takes the new machine to pave the road, negative 24 minutes. No, we don't want that. So we're going to throw that out, which means we're going to have to throw out the 6. Oh, should have crossed it out over there. So that means we're going to go with old times equal 40, but then just pay attention to whatever your um, problem was asking for. In this case, it was asking us how long would the new one take. So we're looking for... Um, Tn. So 40 minus 30 is 10.